Mini episode 1246 of the FDH Lounge is brought to you by Sportsology, delivering unconventional columns and webcasts about sports, TV, music, movies, and more. Follow them on the web at sportsology.com. The FDH Lounge. You want to schedule your life around it. A long time ago, on a gloomy, wet Cleveland spring night, two men stand alone amidst the late night drizzle. Their voices echo across the vacant station parking lot as they debate the merits of the great American radio show that have been missing for far too long. On that night, an idea was born. That idea became the FDH Lounge. Welcome to the FDH Lounge. Hello and welcome to FDH Lounge Mini Episode 1246. I'm FDH Managing Partner Rick Morris here with our preview of Yellowstone Episode 3.2. Here's our top five notes of interest heading into the season's second episode after an opener that offered mostly just hints of new ground. Number five, Beth had some sparks with the new developer guy but is still going strong with Rick. There looks like the potential for some hate effing between Beth and Rourke, but that's actually the case with her and every family enemy, seemingly. One can only imagine the role playing that her and Rip go through. Number four. John and Monica appear to be bonding in the aftermath of Tate's kidnapping, maybe putting to rest the subplot of her being torn between her in-laws and her people. John is proving to be a very good grandfather, which is softening Monica's view of her father-in-law. We'll see how long this lasts. Number three, Rainwater and the tribe aren't at odds with John again, yet, anyway. They're having their own issues with outsiders, and so this unlikely but very compelling alliance may yet endure for a while, anyway. Number two, John's having to put the prodigal son in as his replacement to be livestock commissioner. He still doesn't trust Jamie, but he didn't have any other options in terms of keeping the leverage of that position in the family. Of course, that will mean counting on Jamie to defend the family against the developers that are in their way again this season. Good luck with that. Number one, John's never-ending war with modernity continues. Bury one new foe and two new ones come a-knockin'. The Duttons are hardened for warfare after dealing with the brutal Beck brothers last season, but these slick new foes will test them in different ways. Family unity is easy to come by in extreme circumstances, like Tate being kidnapped, and the family is undefeated lifetime when they've come together to win wars. But how long can that unity hold out against the wiliest of foes, ones that may understand the principle of divide and conquer? We're in for another big thrill ride this season. Thank you for joining us for this mini-episode of the FDH Lounge.